You're telling me the clacking of someone's testicles clacking together have a sound go across the entire continent and push you back at full power. Them balls, <laughs> holy shit. Like, the, holy shit, th those are balls of steel. Like, uh, you know, I I'm just saying, it, it gets weirder and weirder by the chapter. It really does. Like, Coco really wants those balls. Like, in this chapter, he he's like, ooh, I wonder what the, they taste like. I wonder what pear tastes like. And I'm like, like Coco, you want them nuts, don't you? So, the, the chapter, okay? The chapter is set up for this pro wrestling match between the Monkey King and the Four Heavenly Kings. That's exactly what this chapter is. It is very simple, but there is a lot of exposition in this chapter. I want to dive into the beginning part before I dive into the ending sequence of the chapter. So, the beginning of the chapter starts off with finding out that there is a monkey festival, or a monfest for short, that happens every few centuries and supposedly this festival is now happening and it's where the monkeys can actually challenge the monkey king to take his spot as one of the eight kings. This festival is held to do that. Now here's the interesting part about this chapter and this monkey festival. For instance, the monkey king Bombina, he doesn't actually even try. He just plays around. From what we find out from Kaka, actually what she says in this chapter, is that the Monkey King still plays around and has fun. He just wants a playmate. So, in all these previous festivals he has been in, he's always played around and had fun. So, he has never been serious. He's never went to try to kill someone, actually really try to kill someone. The only time he's ever killed someone is because he's been playing too hard. So... In this, we find out that all these centuries the Monkey King has held this, nobody's really ever made him be serious. So that's... Wow. Whoa. And we find out that there is 5 billion spectators. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how? 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 How can he watch this? Like, that that's the only thing I'm wondering right now. Like, how can 5 billion monkeys watch this fight? Because, I mean, they're on the top of a 100G mountain. And only the assistant master imbus, like the imbu master assistants, can actually get on top of a 100, 100G mountain. That's the only ones that are up there right now. And so, how are 5 billion spectators watching them? Anyways, the thing is, okay, with this chapter, Coco. Damn, Coco. You got wrecked, son. Like, I, I know the last chapter Coco got wrecked. But I didn't talk about it all because, I mean, just to talk about it. Because I expected as much how they would get wrecked. But in this, we find out really how damaged Coco is. Like, his leg was fucked up. Like, Bombina fucked his leg up. He, he couldn't even stand in this chapter until the nut clacking. So, to see how Bombina in just one blow messed Coco up that bad, and he was playing around, I still highly doubt you're going to be able to... Grab this dude's nuts and squeeze them because, like, there, there's no way. There is no way you're getting the pair from him because they may have done a surprise shot on Bombina in this chapter. At the end of the chapter, Bombina takes a punch to the gut, and you see, like, this negative type inverted yeah, panel right at the end where Bombina is, actually has blood. You see a little bit of blood coming out of his mouth, and so it demonstrates that he took damage. And it's actually never been stated in Toriko so far since we met Bombina if he's ever taken damage. Like, I wonder when's the last time Bombina ever took damage. Because I remember from the previous Eight King, Hercules, I remember we found out in like a Pacific panel with some exposition that Hercules, he hasn't felt pain or hasn't felt anybody do any sort of damage to him for centuries or a long time. And Toriko is one of the first people to ever do something like that. So I wonder how long it has been since Bombina has taken damage and how will he react to actually taking damage? So, with this overall punch to the gut with Sonny and Zebra, it, it most likely probably pissed off Bombina a lot. Like, next chapter, Bombina might go off. Like, he'll be slinging around 100G Mountain. He'll be slinging that shit around the entire world. So, that's what I personally think is going to happen. So, the chapter. 
it, it, it sets up this festival, pro wrestling festival, where there is no rules. Like, there is no rules at all, and all you have to do is get a KO on your opponent. And the first part, or the first actions when the Monkey Festival first came around, it was just Imbu Masters and Imbu Monkeys actually just demonstrating their Imbu to the Monkey King. And eventually it turned into a bloodthirsty type of fight because they wanted to take the spot of the Monkey King. And so that's how it eventually devolved into, you know, this so sort of death match. And it kind of explains the previous masters of, you know, the entire continent because, you know, how they were gaining power and trying to get stronger to fight the Monkey King. It kind of explains that with this chapter. You kind of see, you know, a little bit of foreshadowing to this point. So I, I like that. I like how this direction of this chapter took. Overall, the ending conclusion of the chapter, I thought Sonny was going to lose his, like, arm. When you saw the Monkey King instantly teleport and grab Sonny's arm, I'm like, dude, Sonny, you're about, you're about to lose your arm. But thank God he was just slung, slung into the ropes and then he was bouncing back. But... At the end of the day, I, I still highly doubt Bombina is going to get defeated, legitimately. But there is no way. Because I feel like at the end of the chapter, they did something they shouldn't have. They just pissed him off. They, they just pissed him off. So, we'll have to see. Overall, decent chapter. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. How do you feel about this week's chapter in Torico? I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.